Wow, Claire, I'm starting to doubt that there's anything that our father didn't invent. Well, with our father being part Odium, part Dragon, he gained both of their powers. However, he mainly used the power of creation. By the way, is it true that the dragon armor actually allows you to have the powers of a dragon? Oh, believe me. <sighs> it does. Wait, so does that mean that we can go back home right now? Unfortunately, no. Each piece of dragon armor controls only one dragon ability. The sword controls elements. The shield controls invincibility. The armor controls flight, and the helmet controls realm traveling. So if you want to go back home, you're going to need the helmet. Plus, Cole, even if we had the ability to go back home, we still need to find the rest of our friends, as well as Zane. Sorry, Sensei. I guess I kind of forgot about them with all this new stuff. Never mind that, Cole. Anyway, I believe we're now ready to go. Finally. The Baron has been looking for something like this for years. Once I can tell him about this dragon armor, he will forever praise me. Come on now, Slabby. Get into the cage. Do you idiots remember nothing? You've got to use this. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys, I'm still laying here. Q. What you have done today was not an easy task. I congratulate you for your efforts and hereby declare you an official dragon hunter. Thank you, sir. This is a true honor. I am Baron. We need to talk immediately. What is it, Jack Jack? Well, sir, I found the way that you can execute the ultimate hunt. Jack, I abandoned that program years ago. There is no way to travel across realms. Yes, sir, there is. And I have a map to where the first piece of it is. Huh, I see. Q, I believe it is time you go on your first mission. You guys saw that too, right? Saw what? The way they lured the dragon back into the cage. They used this little device that shut out ice. Which, because it was ice power, meant that the dragon would go in. That means that that came from Zane. So that means my theory was right. What theory? When we first entered the dragon pit, I saw this weird robot body right by the entrance. I couldn't make out what it was, but it looked like it was wearing white clothes. I think that was Zane. Well, then we can't wait. We have to find a way to break out of here and... I hope you four are ready. Your fight begins in one hour. Wait, four? There are only three of us. So, miss. Jack. Yes, Jack. Anyway, what will we be doing? You see, the Iron Baron has always had the plan to do more than dragon hunting. To hunt multiple species of life across the 16 realms. And I have recently found a way to do that. Recently, 
three people, not unlike the first Finjitsu master in appearance, have mentioned something about some dragon armor that gives you the abilities of dragons. I've put a tracker on their vehicle, and we are going to follow them and find this dragon armor that will allow us to travel across realms. Sounds good. Let's go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Two fights in one day. This fight will not only consist of one person, but four. Two Oni, and two people who know the art of the Spinjitsu Master. <coughs> this is going to be interesting. <sighs> Kai, I just wanted to say it's been an honor being your friend. <sighs> I know. Hopefully the others can make it back to Ninjago alive. Save it for later, you two. Now, who's this other Oni we'll be fighting with? Ugh, get your hands off me! Wait a minute, is that Lord Garmadon? Wait a minute, didn't he have four arms? Ugh, the three of you must be wondering how I got here. Oh, I don't need to know how. I was there. What I want to know is what happened to your arms. It's a long story, and I'll explain everything soon. Just know that while we're in this arena, we are friends. I don't like to admit it, guys, but he's right. While we're in this arena, the only way to get out of here is to work with him or work against him. You do it! Do it now! <laughs> On it, boss! What is going on down there? He's not doing anything! Relax, everyone. I've got this. Kai, don't you remember? That thing attracts it! Kai! Uh, Alright, nice dragon. Just here, why don't you take the little shiny thing? We did it! Uh, what's going on? Well, it looks like you did the dragon a favor by giving it the ice thingy, and now it's returning the favor by letting you ride it out of here. What is going on here? Someone do something! Alright then, dragon. Get us out of here. Slip! No! You will pay for this, Elemental Masters! Well, according to the map, the next piece of armor should be at the top of this mountain. Looks like a very long climb. Good thing we have a jet. Too dangerous. If we fly any higher in that storm, we'll be struck out of the sky and crash into the rocks. I don't think we want to risk that. Well then, I guess this means we'll have to climb up there. Good thing I'm an expert at that. There's no doubt that the Dragon Blade's gonna conduct some lightning. I'd better stay down here and protect it. Well, be safe, you two. Alright then, I guess I'll see you whenever we get back. Yeah, good luck. Actually leaving the girl alone with a piece of dragon armor? Ha! I'll take the sword. You go up there and get whatever's at the top. Hello everyone, this is DS Ninja Productions, and you've just watched Lego Ninjago Dragon Hunt Episode 4, Ninja vs. Dragon. I realise the ninja didn't actually fight the dragon that much in the episode, but... Yeah. Anyway... If you made it to the end of the video, comment Kilo the Dragon Hunter. Alright, I think that's everything, so yeah. Thank you all for watching, and bye!